Hey, Coop. I actually went the other way and went third gear this way, bunny hopped and landed down there. This is the initiation gap I've shown these guys. This gap right here, you hit on a Honda 50 dirt bike, you start off over there. Stock Honda 50 will clear it. First gear, second gear, jump down this ditch at third, hit this gap. I land up there. Whoa! They call it the initiation gap or the frame breaker. This used to be the gap to get in the group 50 ink, guys. This is how you got in. You had to clear this gap and commit. I'm serious. This is how you got a 50 ink t-shirt back in the day. What? Before Dollar General was there. Or Dollar Tree. Take a big bite. Big. Big bite. Uh -oh. big, bite. Wow. big bite. I did two bites. You gotta take a big bite. It's all edible. You gotta take a big bite. Ew. All right. They have to do what now? Ew. Cooper and Cruz made them eat yeah. a gross snack or a really good snack. Ew. And they have to eat no, it. No, they're both gross. Oh my gosh. No, I you just catch them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, That's not. so. You guys need to bite where it's all at. No. Turn it yeah. around. Yeah. It could be like hot sauce in the middle. You gotta taste it. You gotta take one bite. Oh, it smells really eat the, hot. Eat the butt out of it. Eat the butt out of it. It smells really hot. Let's go. What if I throw up? You won't. <laughs> Don't say that. Oh, look, Cash did it. <laughs> you can eat the whole thing? <laughs> Wow. Hot. I can't do this. I, I can't do this. It's the second now. hottest uh, hot sauce. You gotta sauce. take a bite. Bite like No. Hey. I'm not gonna hey. be hot. No, cash. Bite yes. like in the middle. No. You can't do it. Just go. I can't do this. This was your idea. This is your I idea. Really it, it, it doesn't point. have hot sauce. Cash's does. Not smell it. Smell it. Right. Smell it. No, no, smell no, it. Back no, to no, Supercross. No, Supercross no. is on. <laughs> okay, that's enough. That's enough. Are you gonna send it? To me? That's how you pick up a puzzle. Aww. That's how you put it down. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta work on the Grom. We're gonna put some new bars on it, and uh, trying to make my way to the shop. Turn the radio down a little bit. Put these new Pro Taper XR50 bars on the Grom. So, yeah, anybody need some Renthal bars like brand new black? Oh, new bars look sick. A lot taller. Nice. Got Garrison over here. Getting ready to fix the shingles. I had Garrison roofing out here and they put a new top on here, the ridge, and they put new uh, flashing around the fireplace. And what's cool is they put, they took off um, shingles from the gazebo on the back side and the other side, and they used it in here to fix some of the damaged shingles. So that's pretty cool, that way they blend in. They're not all spotty, so a good job, very good job. I was up here and heard fireworks. Chiefs must have won. <laughs> My neighbor over there is Shannon. Anytime the Chiefs win, the fireworks are going. Oh my. <laughs> yep, Chiefs must have won. Let's go. We're going in this hole. It's called the Holy Moly. The guy in front gets all the spiders. That's the part that sucks. You can't ride it? You gotta walk it? Great. I got the old beach cruiser. What is that? You guys good? 
Oh my gosh. Hey, you guys won't be able to see that the Whoa. in a little bit. This is a dream. I already can. Okay guys, let's turn around. You can that. Oh wow. unbelievable. I don't think I can make it in that. Oh my god. I don't think this is water on the ground. Oh, I need to get some more light. Where's the light switch on this bad boy? There we go. That's the only way. How'd you go so fast? Oh, that sucked. It's way better on a Honda 50. Oh, look at all the spider webs hanging from my handle grips. That way. Yeah, we started from over there by that price cutter on the other side of that road. And we ended up all the way out of that tunnel right there. We found another tunnel. We're gonna go under James River by that new building here next to the old Remingtons. Well, this one's not that bad. There's not, there's no graffiti down here, nothing, man. We're too far south. We're on the south side. No graffiti down here. You go across Sunshine. Oh, I have one. Uh oh, there's some really gangsters in here. Oh. I found a few, few gangsters in here. What the heck? I remember my first time using a spray can. Oh boy. Slug life. Do you guys uh, see all the gang riding in there? We're gonna try out all the workout, all the workout machines all the way around this pond. Ready to go? The next one. Oh, we got another workout. What's this the guy do? What the heck? Why is it so easy? Go all the way forward, maybe. All the way forward. All the way forward. That one is pretty lame, huh? Yeah. All right, next. Next. <laughs> Just don't blow a foot off. They drain the fountain. Don't touch the coins. That's somebody else's wish. You just took away from him, Cash. You just took some kid's wish away. Unreal. Look how giant this fork is. That thing was, it's kind of like Springfield's, uh, I don't know. You see that thing everywhere. It was like on Glenstone. Now it's here. Look how huge that thing is. Oh my gosh, world's largest fork? Wow. I gotta film a documentary, guys. Uh, historical trail here, the Trail of Tears. Look at all the footsteps. This trail, a lot of people don't know this, but this trail went all the way through Springfield. 
I mean, dates back from the olden days. Look at that. Look it up. They're in the ice. I tried to let some of that water out of that fountain there, and I busted the valve. That's how I drain the fountain. If you don't drain it, the ice will blow out the bottom. Look, it did. So I'm going to replace that and see if we can't find the fish in here. I think we're pretty thawed out. Oop, I think I see one down there. An orange one right there. Gosh. You what? look like you got blown up. <laughs> I got blown up from that. Well, today we're going to take this window out. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut that door and put a full glass in with the doggy door as a treat. Uh, the new buyers don't know that I'm going to do it for them, but I'm going to surprise them. Actually, they subscribe to this channel so they'll actually see it. So it's going to look like that right there, but with a doggy door. So I was just going to leave it in the shed, and I thought, man, I'm going to go ahead and put it in for them. So I'm a nice guy. Here's the glass. That's fragile. Must be French. Let's take a look at this thing. Ooh. Uh-oh, is it going to fit? 23 and 3 quarter. What's this say? 23 and 3 quarter. Window is out. I'm getting ready to cut the door and put the other one in. Got her taped off, getting ready to cut it. Well, that made a mess. We got little white fuzzies everywhere. Got a nice little side breeze coming through here, so looks like it snowed in here. This is actually a two-man job that I'm gonna try to do it by myself. Every one I've ever done was by myself, so usually a guy stands outside and the guy inside and he sandwiches together. <laughs> Here's the door, not too shabby. Looks pretty good. Heck yeah. Got it all in. Pretty sweet. Hope you like it. I put the old uh, window in the shed. In case they want to put a window in the shed, that's a perfect window to put in there. Let's go for a little ride, boys. Yeah, you ready? Let's go. Ha <laughs> ha. 